Hey everybody, it's Savannah here again with Eden Savvy Creations and today I wanted to show you guys a flower that I make with my Brianna template. This template, as you can tell, has many different sizes. It's got nine different ones and today I'm just going to be using the biggest one here. Um, I have six petals here. It's what I'll be using. Might need a couple more. We don't know yet. I want to not sure how intricate I want to make it, but it's a very simple, very fast flower, and you're gonna love it. And actually, I'm also going to show you guys how to make a center, um, any center fits, but today I'm gonna make a center so y'all get two for one and one video. Y'all get your stuff together, let's start creating. All right guys, so I kind of already combed most of the petals, as you can see, just to make it a little faster for you guys. Um, pretty easy. You're just going to take take your template like so and tw twist it inside itself. Now I have like a, I guess a medium low kind of grip on it where you need to watch how much your what do you call it? You're rolling in because if you roll it too much, it's going to look too coney. So don't do too little. You can do about right here. That's just not the look I'm going for today, though. I'm getting it about right here, middle size. And you're just going to put a little bit of glue in there, pull it together like so. Very simple, very easy, nothing hard. This uh, te particular template though, you can make a bunch of variations. There's so many different flowers to be made with this one template in itself that it's just, I love it, it's amazing. This is one of my very first templates and I haven't used her in a while but I am today. So what I did is put a little bit of glue on the side here. You're gonna take your next petal and you're just going to align them like so. Now try to make sure that this is equal. These sides right here are pretty equal. That way it doesn't throw it off too much. And if you can put your fingers inside right there, just kind of press the glue together. Make sure that it stays. And then you're just gonna keep repeating with every petal. Try not to put a whole bunch, that way the glue isn't like falling off, coming through, through up top right here. But just try to keep um, an eye on if it's meeting up here. And then you can, you know, squish everything together. This flower, like I said, it's very simple, very easy. Doesn't take a lot, but it's quite a showstopper. So as I thought, you will need more than six petals. But like I said, y'all, I haven't made this, used this template in a while. but I love how it's turning out already. Don't go too far up. Try to keep it mid to the bottom. And just take it slow. Make sure it's equal right here. So we're going to do a little ombre effect here, which that should be pretty cool. So 
I can just show you guys. How I cut and I like to cut like four four petals at a time four sheets at a time which I think pretty much that's that'll be good you can also try your hand at five Flower making is all trial and error, y'all. Don't get too caught up in it has to be perfect, has to be perfect, like on the first try. Look at me, I've been doing this about a year and a half already, and sometimes it's still a guesstimation game. So I'm doing five sheets at a time, and just, Take it slow and make sure everything's good. Have a Kung Fu grip on it and you can cut. I think it's almost time for a scissor sharpen um, call. So I am a I am a beautician. Also, I have my license, so I have a guy that comes and sharpens my my cutting shears for hair and I even have him do it on my scissors sometimes if I feel like they're starting to dull but again you're just going to tunnel it in and like I say you don't I don't want this look so not too far down and not too too far, too tight either of a squeeze, just kind of middle right here. And it's all pretty easy, pretty fast. Tell myself I'm gonna have everything ready for when I make the video for y'all so it'll be quick and easy. Sometimes it don't always happen, so this is really fast for this part. Once you get the hang of it, everything's gonna go faster. Clear my area here. So again, you're just gonna keep repeating your steps. So not don't press the glue gun too much. Make sure that it's equal up here. You can even just do it on this one. So I'm gonna put a little more glue on this lip right here so that way it's not sticking up.
And then since this is going to be the last piece in here, yes, I cut too many, but that's okay because I'm going to use that same, I'm going to make this same flower a lot. Um, since this is the last piece, you're going to want to take this one and put the glue on both sides. Now this does get a little tricky when you're putting, um, applying it to between these in the middle. And like I said, just take it slow. You can even kind of spread it out, making sure that you get the, the point right there first. And I don't press my glue until I make sure that it's all equal. And I mean, that's an extra step that I like to do just to make sure that it's adhering to each other. You don't have to do that. That's just my way of doing it. But there we go. There's our flower. So I also, like I told you, I want to make a center for this. And I don't have a Cricut machine or a silhouette just yet. But I am in the process of getting one. Christmas is coming out. I keep throwing hints to my hubby. Anyways, I don't have a machine, but I love to cut centers. Um, I cut everything by hand right now with my scissors, but I really, really dislike that whenever I'm cutting and I try not to fold the paper all the way, but the scissors still end up creasing the paper. So when I want like a really fluffy center, it has a crease in it and it doesn't make it so fluffy. So I figured out a way to fix that. Um, right now that I don't have a machine, it does take a little more time, but it really helps a lot. So let me get that set up for y'all and then I'll show you, I'll be back in a sec. All right, you guys, so I'm going to make a black center since it's like a burgundy red ombre. I've already done three sheets but I've done these long ways, as you can see. See how beautiful and perfect that is? So these are gonna be my outer, sorry, you can't see it that well because my counters are black, but these are gonna be my outers. So this right here is going to be my center. That's why it is, um, what is this called again? Hot dog size, <laughs> sorry. So I have this long ways and this sheet is like this uh, that I'm going to cut. So this is my scoring board for like paper fans or even to just because it has its own razor right here. You can you can even like cut off the ends of the paper, stuff like that. I tried using this, um, but it's kind of hard because sometimes you end up going too far down and cutting like the whole line off and that's not what we want but I've been using my scoring board to score the paper and I'm doing one fourth inch so it's really really skinny it's very skinny how I'm cutting them and then I go back in with my exacto knife so pretty much you just hold your paper down I have a line already and then I go down you don't even have to go all the way down. See, I did it again. <laughs> all of these, um, all of these lines, I've stopped at a certain point, you know, to show, because I'm not going to cut all the way down there. But obviously, when you start, you have to start at the beginning just to make sure that you have it all centered and right. Um, so I'm just... I skip a line, then the next line, and I'm going down to make it really skinny. And yes, this does take a little bit extra work, but the look that you get is just so beautiful that it's worth it. It is well worth it. Um, actually, I found that this is easier than just doing, I made that one too skinny. Um, I found that this is easier than just using, because you can use um, a metal ruler and the X-Acto knife and cut this way. But since your score, the scoreboard, scoring board, I'm not even sure if I'm calling this the right thing, y'all. But um, since it already is like, there's 
like creases in it. This goes in super easy when you're cutting the paper. So it's less pain on your hands and your fingers whenever you're doing that. So I just start at a point, I push my knife in and I go down to a point. And you're just gonna keep, um, you're gonna keep doing that all the way till the finish. So yes, I would suggest you take your time because sometimes I try to go like really fast and my knife will like hit a bump or hit, hit on this accidentally and it like comes this way and it messes up the line and so sometimes taking your time is best. Once you get the hang of it you can and you get in a rhythm you can go a little little faster just be mindful that you're keeping the knife straight and it's not hitting anything see like that just bumped and it came into this other one but this is gonna be in the center so you're not really gonna notice this one so it's okay this uh, scoreboard I got it at Michael's and I want to say it's like $24.99 but I had a 50% off coupon so I didn't pay that much y'all um, whenever you want stuff like this from Michael's or even Hobby Lobby it's always awesome when you have the coupons trust me I use my coupons a lot for these things and this thing is awesome y'all awesome like I love it I like to make the little pinwheels little paper flowers you can do like so many different things with this it's awesome so as you can see I kind of messed it up there but it's my fault I haven't cleaned off the board just yet Last one is always usually kind of hard. So, but look how pretty it is. It's like coming off of the machine. So, like I said, yes, it's a little more work, a little more time consuming, but if y'all are tired of getting those creases like I was, this is the way to go because it's just going to make it so pretty. Now set that aside and then we'll make the set. I know my... Let me find something so that it shows pretty. Give me a sec. Alright guys. Uh, so I'm in my kitchen today shooting. I've been doing a lot of stuff and as y'all know I do have four kids so I'm a very busy mom. We had baseball practice, I mean football practice today. My son, his flag team is in the playoffs so it was a very busy night for me. I was washing dishes and I don't know I just had to make a video so here we are. Um, don't mind my purple background but now you can see. So I just cut this for y'all. And this is going to be folded hot dog ways. Totally quoted elementary, I know. But I don't know how else to say it. Lengthways. Is that good? Yeah. So you see how, see how fluffy it is? Y'all, I just love that. Like, I love that there's no crease up here. Because even though I try not to put the paper like all the way down when I'm cutting with scissors, it always seems to crease this right here. And then it messes up the whole look and I get sad. But... This is going to be my center, and this is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, the norm, what you get at Michael's in the packs, um, this, is, this is the size. So this is going to be folded this way because this is going to be your center, your base pretty much. And then these, these three right here I cut lengthwise and will be folded like a hamburger. So these are going to be taller than the center. 
and I cut three of these on the same size sheet of paper. So pretty much all you're gonna do is put some glue to start with. to just break it up a little bit did I drop my pencil no nope, I didn't so you can take a pencil make it so much easier when you're twirling this inside to just start making that go in. Put a little glue. And I have this, I have it pretty tight. Just be careful with the glue. I don't like to glue like all the way because I don't like burning my fingers. But As you're getting closer to the end, it's best. Pretty simple. And it's so fluffy. I sound like, uh, what's her name, Agnes from um, Despicable Me. That's my three-year-old's favorite movie also. I watch it a lot. But there's going to be your base right there. That's cute just in itself. So now we're going to take these next three and you're just going to do the same. I'm just going to do very simple center. But I wanted y'all to see that option of using the scoreboard, scoring board like that. I, I like to do a little at a time gluing. That way I make sure that I get it equal because my glue gun gets super hot and I've like burnt myself before. <laughs> Trying to make sure that it doesn't. Y'all, yeah, this fluffy, I just can't get over it. Super excited. So you're just gonna take your base, apply some glue, and then apply these. And I like to get mine like right where this one ended. That's where I like to start the next one. And since you are applying this one to this paper, you are going to want to have a lot of glue. Not a lot of glue, but you're going to want to glue as you're rolling. Just to make sure that this really sticks. And be checking the bottom that it's equal. Uh, 
Oh no, I didn't cut these enough. Well, that's the good thing about your X-Acto knife and just go back through. Okay, I see what happened. You didn't catch it all the way. See what happens when you're trying to go too fast? <laughs> it's alright, we'll fix that later. All of these are cut. Yeah. All of these are cut, so again, wherever I left it at. Ow, I got it on my finger. Um, don't be afraid to squish it like this either, y'all. It's <laughs> it'll it'll still pop up. See how it's just it's so fluffy. I like a lot of layers, honestly. I'd probably add like two more, but I know I'd lose some some of y'all. It's too many. So I applied too much and it's squeezing out, but There you have the center. Super fluffy, super cute. Just make sure that you're cutting through everything. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this, y'all, I am. But there's no creases in it, and it's super fluffy, bouncy, ringlets. Isn't that so cute? You could probably even just like put a, put a jewel right there, just kind of on top of that right there put a jewel. So let's find the flower again and we'll apply the center. So here's the flower we just made. Here's our center. So we're just going to put it right there. Um, we can just do a little circle. Nothing, nothing fancy. Oh, I think I have a circle yet. So I have this base we can just make into a little circle. It doesn't have to be real perfect. But just something to apply right here to where it kind of sits up a little bit. Or, this is even better, you're going to put it at the bottom. That way the glue won't come out of here. There's, there's lots of different ways, y'all. You're gonna want a backing on this anyways for when you hang up, hang it up. Um, so usually what I would do is have my perfect circle, not this, <laughs> but have my perfect circle with um, wire already attached, like glued underneath it, sticking up right here. That way you'll be able to hang it up. I'll show that on the next video but that covers that right there and then you're just going to add your glue here apply it to the middle and push it down you want to make sure that it stays just 
Um, fluff it up. I feel like it wasn't enough. No. That's why it's always best to make sure you're putting enough. <laughs> you can even add it there. Add some more. Yeah, I love my glue. I'm sorry. Like, I really like to make sure I have lots of glue. You're going to hold it down a little. And like I said, don't worry about the fluff. If you're pushing on them, they'll be fine. And there we go. Isn't she pretty? So this is my Brianna template, y'all. Remember, there's nine different sizes. I just used the one. But I will have to make a video next time of a different flower to make with it because this template is very versatile. You can make so many different styles of it. You can even make it bigger. Um, so the center also, y'all should try it. If y'all have one of those scoring boards, just try it out, see how you like it. If you don't have a machine, it really makes life a lot easier, real pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my page. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Eden's Savvy Creations. And uh, I do sell my templates, you guys, so give me, uh, send me an email. I'll put a link below this video with my email if you have any questions about templates. So thank you guys for watching and happy creating.